Hello guys, um, welcome back to our channel, to Mr. and Mrs. Farns YouTube channel. So it's a Saturday morning, so it's a day of relaxation. So Nick and I, so Nick is the one recording this, Nick and I thought about making a film in regards to 10 things that helped us or are still helping us in taking care of baby Barbara. So we thought about this to share um, the information to the new moms out there or to women who are still pregnant. So hopefully this would help you, our viewers. So just a disclaimer, we are not getting paid out of this. We're just really wanting to share what are the things that are helping us. And also all of these items we consider um, equally important. So this isn't in order. Okay, so the first one that I would like to share is the Dr. Brown's Natural Flow Baby Bottle. So I really like this because if you can see inside there is this weird thing you know, that's like a, a, a tube, and if you're gonna open it, you're gonna discover that it's composed of two things. This screw thing like, and this tube. These two compose what they call the internal vent system. So this system is very helpful to prevent colic to our babies. So of course, it's very important to do our best to prevent that from happening because it's it's painful for them and uh, we just don't want that to happen right so that's why this dr brown's vent system really help us in making barbara happier happy baby so to assemble it you just have to put these together and put it inside the bottle and screw the ring with the nipple Okay, that's it. So the Dr. Brown's bottles have a lot of uh, designs. So you can buy blue, pink, and um, I guess other colors. Uh, of course, Baby Barbara is a girl, so we chose a pink one with this design. And uh, the price for this is for a set, like two small and three big ones, um, it's around $23. All right, so the next one that we'd like to show you that really help us a lot is this Baby Brezza One Step Sterilizer Dryer. So from the word One Step Sterilizer Dryer, all you have to do is to click um, a button and it will automatically sterilize and dry the bottles. Okay, so now let's see what we have here. So these bottles, and their parts have already been cleaned, so of course you have to clean them first. And uh, there are only three bottles here because uh, these are the only ones needing to be sterilized. So for the purpose of just sharing it, we're just gonna go ahead and sterilize them. But of course you can put more bottles here. You can fit six bottles here, especially if you only have the smaller ones. After placing all the cleaned bottle parts here, all you have to do is to lift this up Okay, and put water from the bottled water inside this. So as you can see, there is a line there. So that's until where you're gonna place the water. After putting the water, you just have to put this back, replace this cover. Plug. Turn it on and you just have to push this button to sterilize and dry. As you can see, there are two more buttons here. Uh, this one, you can press it if you'd like to just sterilize and not dry. And the other button you can push if you just want to dry but not sterilize. But as for us, we always press this one because we want to 
sterilize and dry it. So for sterilization, it will take 15 minutes, approximately 15 minutes, and after that, it will automatically start the process of drying. And it takes about 45 minutes to do that. So as you can see, it's already starting the sterilization, and then it will proceed to drying. So it will take about one hour. So while it's doing its thing, we can do whatever we want and we just have to go back when it's done. So at the market, you can find this Baby Brezzo One Step Sterilizer Dryer for around $100. So the third thing that I would like to show you that really help us a lot is this nursery water. So this is the water that we use in mixing formula uh, because with the nursery water you will be assured of what's in there because with the bottled water or with the faucet, I mean I think our the water coming off from our faucet is clean but we don't want to risk that. And with the bottled waters that, that Nick and I are using, we don't know if it has high fluoride content. So with the nursery water, we will be sure that the fluoride and other minerals that, that the baby is receiving is just enough or it's not too much. So with this nursery water, um, we buy this at Target for only over a dollar. So you know, we have a lot of stock of them because as what we have figured um, it's easy for them to be out of stock so yeah the nursery water so the fourth thing that really helped us in taking care of Barbara is this chefman electric kettle this only costs like around forty dollars at the store so we've been using this until last week because when we had Barbara's fourth month appointment, her PDS said that we do not need to sterilize her water anymore. So we stopped using it, but if you have a small baby, if you, if you have a newborn or the first three months, of course we would uh, need to sterilize their water first because their immune system is not fully developed yet. So just for the sake of uh, showing this, we're gonna sterilize a sample of water just for you to, to see how easy it is to boil water here. So let's just think that this bottled water is the nursery water, so I'm not gonna waste that. So you just have to push this button and it will all open and then put the water however much you want to put there's a minimum and maximum you just have to follow the guide and then close it plug and then you just have to press start and it will boil so as you can see, it is red because it's in the process of boiling. But later on, after the, the water boiled, you will see that it's going to turn into green. So that means it's maintaining the warmth. It is already saying to keep warm and it already turned into green that means it's non boiling and now its duty is to maintain its warmth. so in just two minutes we have boiled and about two ounces of water so of course it will take more time if it's more water but as you can see it's very very easy to do it and also very quick if you want to do all of your duties faster so our baby Barbara has been using Similac Pro Advance since day one and we are very glad that it has a ready to feed bottle. So that means you do not need to do anything like mixing or whatever it is. You just have to open it and then put a uh, disposable ring and nipple and that's it. 
and that's what we use whenever we go out like attend mass or go to a park go to the checkup and everywhere we go we always just carry these ready to feed bottles so it comes with an uh, 8 fluid ounce bottle or a 2 fluid ounce bottle so when she was young we would always use this but now that she could um, drink more milk we of course drink this instead <music> this has 12 2 fluid ounce bottles and it costs at about $13 at Target or anywhere where you can find them. So the next item that we would like to show you is this Boom Lawn Drying Rack. So from the word drying rack of course it's where you would put items that has to be dried but since most of our bottled parts are being dried by our baby bread stuff so we use this as a place where we would put the pacifiers in the future when we do not need to sterilize the bottles so we could use this rack in drying them so this cost $25 at the market So this is the Diaper Genie sealable trash can. We have our changing station set up here. Whenever we're done changing, we take the diaper, you use your foot and step on this little pedal. It opens up, you place it in here, and then when you release this pedal, when the lid closes, there's a compartment that opens on the bottom and allows the diaper to fall in to this part where it's stored. Once this blue bag fills up, you pull it out a little bit, cut it with some scissors, and you twist the bag like this to seal it at the top. The part that comes down, you also twist like this so that it will form the bottom of the next bag, and then you pull that down. The bag comes from this ring and drops down through here into where it's stored. This product is really good at containing the smell and the mess associated with diapers and changing areas. The reloading bags come in packs of three that look like this. We found that Target typically has these and they're about seven to eight dollars for a pack of three of them. This will last, depending on how many changes you have, anywhere from a week to two weeks. The trash can itself costs about fifty dollars, which is pretty good considering how well it conceals the smell. So the eighth item is very important, especially when it comes to cold weather. Of course, during the cold weather, we use blanket, right? But babies under one year old are not allowed to use blankets, loose blanket at least, because that might block their nose or their airway. So it's one of the risk factors of SIDS or sudden infant death syndrome. What we have been using during this winter season for baby Barbara is what we call baby sack. So this is how it works. So basically it's a blanket that babies wear. And since it can be worn, then it will not be blocking their nose or mouth. <laughs> So now she is warm, but at the same time far from the risk of SIDS or Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. I also just want to emphasize that in the baby's crib, nothing should be there. No pillows, no blankets, no toys, because they too can block the airway of the baby. So Nick and I are very strict about it, and we are just very careful in taking care of baby Barbara. All right, baby. All right. <laughs> so we get this baby sack at Amazon and it only costs like $13 a piece. And you can also buy a sleeveless baby sack like this if it's not too cold. 
So the second to the last item that we are going to show you or to discuss is related to the nose in the airway of the baby. So we all know that they have smaller or narrower airways than us, so it's easier for it to be blocked by mucus. So what we should do is to clear it. And we are all familiar with this bulb syringe nasal aspirator, but we have found something much better and uh, is recommended by the pediatrician. So it is called the Frida Baby Nose Frida the Snot Sucker. So this is how it looks like. So here is Here's a tube. So this one goes to the nose of the baby and this one goes to your mouth. So basically what you should do is to suck the snots from the nose. So it, it sounds gross, but it's not really because there is a filter here, so it will not be going to your mouth. So it's only up to here. So what you should do first is to Put one drop of normal saline to the baby's nose so that it's easier for us to, to remove the, the mucus. Then you can already start doing it. So you see, it's kind of gross, but we need to do it for our baby. Of course, you're going to do that to both nose trails. So after the procedure, you just need to clean this or to rinse it with warm water and shake it a little bit so that you will be able to remove them and also this one that goes to your mouth so as what you have witnessed baby Barbara was a little bit cooperative when we were doing this not sucker thing but she's not always like that although like 80% she's okay with it but 20% she would cry and it's fine for the babies to cry because once you stop it they're gonna stop crying too in this Frida Baby knows Frida, this not sucker can be found at the stores like Target and uh, it is around $17. I, I forgot to mention that every time you use it, you have to replace this filter that comes with it because it will be it will become dirty afterwards. You can also buy the store filters like this. Alright, so we're down to 19 seconds. After an hour, it's done. So you just have to open it again and they're already sterilized and dry. So the last item that we think is very helpful, especially for parents who are paranoid like me, is this outlet monitor. We bought this at Best Buy for around $300. So this comes with four smart socks and the base station. So the base station we will show you after we explain this smart sock first. So smart sock is a sock that is smart because it could monitor the heart rate, the oxygen saturation in the blood, and also the sleep of the baby. It comes with four of these because there are two levels of sock. The first level is the one for um, the babies who are weighing less than 12 pounds and if your baby weighs 12 pounds and more you will be using the, the level two. So since Barbara is already weighing more than 16 pounds she has been using uh, this level two for quite a while now. So each level have, of sock has left and the right side because the left sock is for the left foot and the right sock is for the right foot. So that's why it comes with four socks for two levels. But of course, you're just gonna use one sock at a time. And every two weeks, approximately two weeks, you have to change it. So like right now, she's using the right one. So after two weeks, she's gonna use the left so that it's not gonna impair the, the skin integrity. So I'm gonna show you how we put this on. So if you can see here, it says behind pinky toe. So we are gonna put it here. So by the way, that sound is 
an alarm saying that the sock is one it's disconnected from the food meaning it's not properly fitting or it's low battery so as of now actually this is low bad that's why it's making that alarm so since it's low bad all we have to do is to take it off from the food and put it to the base station so just excuse our chocolates because valentine's day is almost here so that's why my husband bought a lot of it so this is the sock which is already in low battery mode and this is the base station which will make an alarm every time there is something going on like now it's low bad or disconnected from the food of the baby so you just have to put it here and it will stop and it will automatically charge the smart sock now there's another alarm that we do not like to hear which is when the result becomes abnormal like the heart rate becomes higher than normal or lower than normal or the oxygen becomes lower the light on the base station will turn red so, as what i've explained the sock is connected to the base base station and the base station is connected to the app on my phone which is called the outlet care so this is where i would see b the baby's heart rate and oxygen saturation but because it's charging of course we're not seeing anything but if it's on the baby's food we will be able to see here the heart rate of the baby and the oxygen saturation as you can see it says sock is charging okay so from this app you can also see the history of the heart rate oxygen saturation and the sleep so for example so barbara has been using the sock since 12 a.m so it has been like what, 11 hours of using it. So for the 11 hours of using it, the highest heart rate is 159 beats per minute and the lowest was 110. And so for the oxygen saturation, the highest for the last 11 hours was 99% and the lowest was 96%, which are all normal. And the for the sleep, it's saying that the she was awake for 4 hours and 10 minutes for the last 11 hours. Light sleep she had for 4 hours and 20 minutes. And for deep sleep she only had 1 hour and 10 minutes for the last 11 hours. So yeah, you can do a lot in this um, app. So again, the sock is still charging so we cannot see the heart rate and the oxygen saturation live like at the moment of Barbara. So now we're done showing you the top 10 things that we think are very helpful to us as parents. But I think these three additional things that I'm about to mention are also very helpful. So the first additional thing is this baby tracker. So it's an app on my phone that helps me track the feedings and the, the number of times that I change the baby's diapers. So whenever I feed her and change the diaper, I always put it here so that at the end of the day, I would know if the baby has consumed enough ounces of milk and had enough number of wet diapers and even dirty diapers. Yeah. The second thing that I would like to mention in addition to the 10 stuff that we have showed you a while ago is the Coco Melon. So Coco Melon is Barbara's favorite show. It's a YouTube channel that shows animated videos regarding traditional nursery rhymes and their original children's songs. So Barbara likes it very much that at the start of a video, she would always smile automatically. And it also gives us time to do our household chores while she is enjoying her show in her bouncy or in a swing. And the third one that I would like to mention is the lullaby songs that are always playing from Spotify whenever we put the baby to sleep. So they are very helpful for Barbara to sleep easily. And that's it. So hopefully this video helped somebody out there. And uh, if you like this video, please press the like button. You can also share any comments that you have. And uh, please subscribe to our channel so that you would be able to see our future videos or vlogs. And thank you so much and have a good day. You say bye.